Hello and welcome back to Strength and Dignity Co. Today we are in the Grand Canyons. Crazy. Good morning everyone, welcome to the Grand Canyon Railway Service to the Grand Canyon National Park South Rim. It's ready to go to the canyon. Actually one of my favorite cars that we have. It's 100 years old? And the, the ones that we've restored, we use for the Polar Express. Does anybody, has anybody been on the Polar oh, Express? Oh yeah. Super fun, right? This is from the 1950s. This is a bud car. And the pilot cars, the first class cars, this would cost upwards of $1.4 million to restore. We really can't Amazon.com it for all those parts and <laughs> items that we need. So we purchase cars at auction, so we have those parts wow. to be able to restore. Beer, Elk, Cavalina, Bobcat. Uh, we have a herd of wild Mustangs that roam around up here. They are phenomenal to see out for wild. So hopefully we will see them. We just do this. Holy yeah. oh, macaroni! Oh my gosh! Okay. Whoa! Oh, the world over here! Officially on the train and it is moving in Marijuana. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, the meeting are about to make a root beer float. And so I'm trying to get, oh gosh, did we just pass all the snow and I'm not gonna get any attention? And there's some coming up. Some coming up. Okay. <laughs> it's like in patches. <laughs> <laughs> it's just With a wild animal. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you guys, if you guys look, you see the little tracks of animals. Aww. It's like snowy. I am so used to Arizona being hot and come in the summertime with our church usually to go camping. But this is a whole new experience. I didn't know Arizona could be so cold. Guys, we just got off the train and we're headed to all the different places that you could go and explore. This area is like super rich in history. Um, the kind lady who was like our I kind of feel like she was a tour guide, but that's not what that is. What was she? I don't know. But she like told us a lot of information about all down here. And it was really cool. So hopefully we can share some of that information with you. Do you know where we're going right now? We are going to make reservations. So there's, what's, what is the name of the restaurant? Do you remember? It's a famous restaurant. President, I think it was Theodore Roosevelt. She said, came down to the Grand Canyon all the time when we were at this restaurant. And so they have a spot in it that's uh, a table in it, like in dedication just to him. Glorious. And on we trek. On we trek. And isn't the altitude like we, it's like hard to breathe. <laughs> all right, we made it. So this is a restaurant right here near the Grand Canyon. It's called the El Tobar. So this is where President Roosevelt used to come. Yeah. And she said that his um, taxidermies, he has a collection of them, are inside on the wall, so we'll see how it goes. Thank you. It says mass required. I don't have it on right now. Let's see what happens. 
I'm always willing to take the risk. <laughs> Lovely. There they are, guys. His taxidermies. Am I saying it right? Oh my goodness, it's so cozy. Yeah, guys, this is so cool. It just feels so old. So there's a couple. Oh my god, where's the restaurant? I think the restaurant's more there. Guys, do you see how cool this is? Do you guys see that? So it's like, if you've never saw a moose in real life, which I never have, that's, it's literally right there. Wow. Super cool. Can you sit there? I think you can. Super cool. Schmackaroo. Oh, okay. I thought you said no photographs. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is called the Alto Bar. So, this has been here for many, many years. Uh, President Theodore Roosevelt used to eat here. Like, what? So, we're making a reservation and then we're going to go and see the Grand Canyon and all that. But this is how it looks. How do you like it, Nina? Beautiful, beautiful, but I did just walk up a hundred places. So it was 48, 48 steps. How you liking it, sir? It's 38 degrees, by the way. It's nice. It's, it's, it's really nice. It's just a whole other world, which is so I cool. Feel like just to experience this part of, don't you think, history? Yes, it's beautiful. It, it feels like a log cabin. <laughs> yeah, and it's a big restaurant with a lot of different gift shops and stuff. I just okay. walked upstairs. <laughs> I'm literally gonna hold it because I did not walk up any more stairs. Look at the update, it's so cool. Guys, this whole this whole area feels like very Titanic. I like how I would imagine the Titanic would be. So the Grand Canyon is just over there. We are leaving this Alto Bar restaurant. So I thought we were gonna eat here, but I'm not 100% sure that we are, but it was really cool to look inside. <laughs> Everything here feels like it's from a different world, which is right up my alley. You just have to come and see it. It's just so cool. It, there's like so many like crevices like and stuff you cannot see it with the camera it's just impossible like it's literally amazing it's so cool wow so this is like the little ledge that's around it we're not like going to go down into it actually if that's what i said earlier i'm sorry we're not actually in it but we're like we're at it and look at so that's the restaurant we were just in and then this is again yeah it's right next to it so pretty. How are you feeling? Awesome. Does it look cold? cold. Very cold. <laughs> it is lit. It's a breezy. <laughs> I think my nose is red. <laughs> no, no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> it's not cold. It's not. It's not red yet. Is it? Can you breathe? Yeah. Oh, I'm not seeing yeah. it. You know what? It was actually colder where we were at in Williams, Arizona. Oh, it at was. the hotel. That when we woke up, it was eight. It's just because it was dark. I don't know. And then this morning. Yeah. And it's actually 38 here. So it was and it's an hour difference so cold. Wow. So when it was 8 there, it was 7 where we live. So this is probably like the area where it's not very safe. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go there. Just don't trip or anything. It looks amazing. You, the camera, like, it just can't show the depth of like every crevice and stuff. So... You gotta come and experience it yourself. Ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> to introduce, say, I'm a stranger. I just met. I, she just walked upon. I love you. <laughs> so exciting. You guys are so cute. Where are you guys from? I'm from Texas. Texas? Yeah. Where, where are you from? I'm from Phoenix. Phoenix? Oh, okay, oh, cool. Aw. Well, you guys enjoy your date. <laughs> You're welcome. That's so cute. No, hold it on right here. With the rock Sister! Look it, look it. Look it, look it. No! Can you stop? Yes, sir. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna push on a sternal. I'm gonna push her because she's saying go get to the end. Go get to the end. Cecilia, just because you found true love, <laughs> let me find true love. Okay, I will let you find okay, it. Okay, thanks. I need to run. She's gonna push me, guys. I don't want to die at the Grand Canyon. I'm not gonna push her. <laughs> That's not a fun death. <laughs> all for it. Okay, right now. Right now it's all dark in there, so I'm guessing after I put my quarter, okay, it'll work. Okay. Is there something that you move to like focus it? I think so. There's nothing. Yeah, like no, really? Oh, don't tell me it doesn't work. You're right in there. It's a quarter eater. So the focusing is down there. All I see is the reflection of my eyeball. <laughs> I got some pretty eyes. <laughs> I guess over there is an area where you can go down a little bit. Hey, Bianca. So let's it? try it's and see if we can do that. There's like little logs. I just, I just wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm really cool that. I'm here and then I'm experiencing this. Hola, opa. Snow, Nina, show them the snow. <laughs> Look out the studio. I know, but I just want to see right here. Okay. What does it say? Look out studio, it's a National Historic Landmark, 1987. All right, so all that over there is where you could look at, like that whole entire area. See, that's where the um, hotel is at, and you just walk all the way around. And then this area, supposedly, you can like go down a little bit. It says it's a gift store too, look out studio. Yeah, and it's just like built into the rock out overlooking the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. So stinking cute. Oh Lord, how All right. how look it. What does it say? Oh Lord, how Mag manifold are thy works and wisdom hast thou oh. made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. Psalms 104. Whoa. That is cool. I am one of the Lord, one of his creator. Be ever abound. Whoa. Wonders of nature, sing praises to you. Wonders of wonders. I, I made praise too. So we found, oh how nice. So this is where we're gonna um, buy all our postcards. I'm gonna send them to my friends. I feel like you have to get a postcard at the actual site or it's not real. But this is a cute little store that's like, literally the cutest little store. Overlooking the Grand Canyon, literally. Do you see that? Oh, there goes Nina. <laughs> I'm gonna go down there. This is so cool. Okay, so in this cute little gift shop, it talks about Mary Coulter. And uh, when we were on the train, the lady, she's not the conductor, but she was telling us all about the story of Miller, Mary Coulter, how she was an architect. And when they hired her, they didn't know that she was a woman until she arrived. And then um, because they wouldn't have hired her if she was. And so I guess this is like the story about it, how they just gave her odd and end gobs. And then she built, I think it was like the firehouse and something else small. And she did a really, really good job. And so they allowed her to build all this other stuff. Lookout Studio. This. Yeah, even this, I think. This place, Lookout Studio. We're not sure, but really cool to know that. Mm -hmm. I never knew that in my life. Mm -hmm. Postcards. So we could sign. And we even had the stamps. We bought the stamps yesterday. So we're going to sign them and send them out tomorrow, uh, today when we get back to the hotel. So I'm super excited about that. This is all the stuff they have here. <clears throat> Are these the brothers who were filmers? They filmed the first. That's cool. The colds dangled from ropes, clung to sheer cliff walls by their fingertips, climbed virtually inaccessible summits, ran seemingly impassable white water rapids, braved the elements, and ventured into unknown wilderness, all for the sake of a photo, while well, a photo and a thrill. Sometimes it was hard to tell which was more important. That's cool. I guess they were like the first brothers who filmed the Grand Canyon. And there's like a 45 minute loop playing somewhere. I forget what the lady told us on the train. But that what they filmed, <clears throat> they, they have it playing on a loop. Because they were able to get like the first footage of the Grand Canyon. Which is like back in like what? So long ago. 
so that was super cool and awesome pioneers such a cute door i love all of this so much This is really scary to go down. Okay, so past that, there's literally so, so much more to explore. Like all along the canyon, there's a whole bunch of different things. Okay, okay. so right now, we're at Lookout Studio. Uh -huh. That was where the, the, the store is that we went. Mm -hmm. And so we are trying to find Bright Angel Lodge. In Bright Angel Lodge, there's some food and there is a fireplace to get warm. Do you see it anywhere? Yeah, right here. Oh, okay, so we keep going straight? Yeah. Okay. See, we're right here, so actually you probably should turn around and it's somewhere. Oh, there's a little map. Okay. Let's go over there. All right, let's go. It's frozen. My fingers are popsicles. Okay, free exhibit. The Kolb Brothers. A grand light at Grand Canyon. Okay, so let's go in here and see what this is about. <laughs> so cool. And all of this, the Grand Canyon's still just like right behind you and just staring in your face. Like okay, you guys, we're inside. Oh yeah, the second. So there's this here. It's like a. It's just the date. Yeah, the date's correct. What's today's date? Okay, tell me. I literally just said that. <laughs> What's today's date? Today is the the third. I'm not sure. We'll just put this one first then. Yeah. Two of them. Yeah, that'll make it cool. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. The continual footage that plays that they captured like way long time ago. Let's go see it. Wow. This is the actual footage they got. How long ago? Wow, this is so cool. And this is the camera that they recorded it on. Not the actual one, but a replica. Isn't that so cool, dude? That's what they filmed. That one. Super interesting. But I think I want to know the exact. 1901 is when they came. Came 1901, by the end of 1903, they had 
moved to their photography business, business to the head of the Bright Angel Trail near where Colb Studio stands today. They seem like really interesting people ahead of their time, don't you think? They didn't live a boring life for sure. That's so cool. Oh, look right here, it says something burger. You think they're in there? Huh. Okay, guys, so we are at, it's called Fred Harvey Burger and Tavern. Super cute area. Super cozy. Yep, some of the sisters from my church are sitting over there. Okay guys, we are back on the train. We saw all the exhibits. Yes. Me and Sarah are so excited because And this is like first oh, yeah, is it first class? Yes. Yeah. It's like first class on the train. So the seat actually reclines now. Oh, mine's already back. Let's pull it up. So it literally reclines all the way back. So we can take like a nice two hour nap. Super cool. <laughs> You gotta come with friends, that makes it a lot more yes. fun. Here you but. Serve the ladies serve the That's for the dome seating up there, but we're not over there. But, super awesome. We get all this for free on our way back. This is awesome. I'll get one for me and Sarah to share. That's what we're getting. And probably a Sprite. I think we'll get a coffee. So, darling, awesome. darling, <laughs> darling. Okay, guys, we're still waiting. But this is where this is how the ladies' restroom looks, which I think is so funny. It doesn't lock, he said. Like what? But look at this is how it looks. Hey, vlog. This is how a train restroom looks. Just in case you were wondering, because I never in my life have been on a train. And this is first class. <laughs> Alright. It's so tiny. Okay. These are all the wonderful ladies that I go to church with. I love you, ladies. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all in first class together. In 18 years or so of being in Flagstaff, I've only seen this town shut down once, and that was for the full fee. Oh, yeah. that, the, the town just couldn't handle that. We the, this town died. It was dead as could be. It was. It actually happened on a Thursday because I was at work, um, and I, at the time I walked right on the, the busiest road in Flagstaff, Milton. And after like an hour I woke up, I'm like, why am I here? Like, why am I here? You know, normally, you couldn't even count the cars going down the road. You know, it would be four or five cars every, like a car a second would be going down the road. You wouldn't even count. Okay. In that hour, I, not besides snow plows and emergency vehicles, I had counted like eight vehicles in an hour. Wow. My boss called, I go, can I go home? He goes, how slow? I'm like, eight vehicles in the last hour I've driven down Milton. He goes, go home. <laughs> He's like, his dogs. <laughs> I love it. I got four babies, that's all I got. Four babies? That's all you need. <laughs> I was blind, but now.
welcome. <laughs> nice job, ladies. Well, and he will eventually catch these guys. They're coming right there. When the marshal gets on, what do we do for the marshal? We cheer for the marshal. If he asks which way do they go? Point out the window. Oh, man. Man, he's oh, out there, wow. he's shooting. <laughs> but whatever you do, folks, don't I'm worry. So we will be perfectly fine, I promise. Oh, I How cute is this? Okay, cool. Oh, what? That's why Sister Walker said don't shop. Oh, guys, they have like modest clothes. The first time being at a Cracker Barrel, everything is so cute. There's like a store before you enter the actual restaurant, and it's like very like if you've never been to the South, which I've never been to the South, this is like a Southern experience. Super cool. So which one do you think you? I feel like Nina's is um, acts of kindness, acts, or of, acts kindness. of service, acts of service, or gifts. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think like, acts of service is totally you. I, I already know my mind's words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Yeah.
All right, guys, we're ending this vlog. But before we do, we're gonna send these off. This beautiful hotel has an area where you could put in outgoing mail only. I didn't put in all of our postcards. Okay, everybody, so that is it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching our wonderful ladies trip to the Grand Canyon here in Arizona. Remember, everybody you meet is fighting a hard battle you know nothing about. Smile, show God's love, remember to live in strength, and, and walk, walk in dignity. Over and out. out.